Welcome, I am John Lira. In this demo, I will show you how to create a customized data object. Let's get started. First, I bring up Informatica Developer. I've already logged in. And what I want to do is just show you that I have a few tables already on the Connection Explorer on the right-hand side. So I have DIM customers, and it contains customer data. What I want to do is create a custom data object of that just to make it easier. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and right mouse click under my project folder and I am going to create a data object. Just the normal way of creating data objects, it will be a relational data object. And so I will create it, click new. The difference is that I will say and call it customize. Now first I'll establish the connection. I want to get it from MMEDW which is my schema, and I want to create a customize. I am going to call this, just for an example, I'm going to call it, uh, let's see what I'm going to call it. I'm going to call it DIM Transactions Premier. Just a name, because I'm going to customize this. Let's make sure I got it correctly spelled, and I'm done. So here I have a new relational object called DIM Transactions Premier, but it has no columns. What I'm going to do is leverage a table that I already have called DIM customers. I'm going to right mouse click and add it to the project. I, do I want to create a new data object for each resource or add as related resource to an existing project? In other words, reuse that. So the same definition structure I want to reuse and it will be deposited or added to the DIM transactions premier, which, uh, which is the object I'm trying to create. There it is. So now I've created it, and you can see that in the overview, if I scroll down, you can see that overview is the display I have. I can, I can set up the read, just like any other data object, I, I can use it for reading or writing, and I can click on parameters, and I can click on advance, which essentially just shows the connection. I'm connected to MMEDW, that's the schema in which this table will be stored. Now, let me go back to the read. What I want to do here? Well, if you look at the properties here, I have columns and I have advanced. What I want to do is set up the read, so I'll click on read, and I have the dim boxes and the output. I'm going to select the output because I want to make this customized. So notice it. this says that if I were to use this to read data, the dim customer is what's going to come in, the output it's what's going to flow into my, say, mapping that I plan to use. So I'll, I'll select mapping. I see the green lasso. And I go to query. And this is the part in which you customize it. I can add hints, join data, filter data, or sort. What I want to do is just filter. Remember, this is sort of a clone of DIM customer. But what I want to do is say, I want to have a new object where, let's say, which, which fields. Let's, let me just customize it. Let's see, what's a good feel? I have customer ID, uh, income, and let's see which is a good feel that uh, I could actually use here. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see. Where, say, certain income, customer income. So I will go ahead and add that, and you see it opens up the expression editor. And I'll say where the income is over a certain amount, let's say over 300,000, one, two, three. So I click OK. And the important thing is to notice that I've added a filter. That's really the important thing. At this moment, what I could do is go, go and select, go to read and select the DIM run data viewer, which means it's gonna access the data and we'll see what kind of data we have. This is the original data before we filter it. And if you select where it says customer income, you can see someone is making 44,400, etc. So look at all the numbers we have. And now what we're going to do based on our filter that we've set up, we're going to select the output, run data viewer, and the expectation is that those records that we don't want will be filtered out, though satisfying that condition. Ah, no data return. Okay, so let's go back and change our filter then. There is no data, so I'm going to select again, output, go back to read, go to properties, and maybe I filtered it 
too much. There is no record. So what I'm going to do is say, okay, fine. I will edit that filter and anybody over 44,600. Remember, we have a record with at least 44,400. So I'll say 44,600. And let me run the data viewer on this. And we should have at least that record that we saw no longer there. So I scroll down and what we go to is customer income. And look, we don't know, we no longer have, I can sort it. So anybody over 4,400, 600 is already filtered out. If I go back to the original, again, I select dim customers and I go to data viewer, run it, it will appear there. So this is a customized object, a very simple one, but you can see that it's the records there, a very simple one, but effective in terms of showing how I created a customized data object. Now we know that we can use data objects in our mappings as input or output sources. And that concludes our demo. Thank you very much.